Well, we are finally playoff bound in this franchise mode. Can we get to the finals and win the cup? What's on guys? Jay Hoy back with you today. Welcome back to episode number 14 of our franchise mode with the Buffalo Sabres. And for the first time, I think in a long time, we can actually be happy about what is going on in this video, mainly because we are in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoff so we finally made it uh, you know to where we wanted to be this whole time right we're what four or five years whatever it is into this uh into this season into this uh into this mode into this journey that is trying to bring the buffalo sabers back to uh the championship so i think it was like 17 years or something in total it's 15 plus i didn't really feel like doing the math but either way, we are in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs against the New York Rangers. So it's a battle of New York. And honestly, I feel like we have a better team on paper. So not that that really means much, but we, I feel like we have a, a better uh, team when you look at the lineup card. Like I said, at least on paper. But this is what we're dealing with, right? Uh, so we have Panarin, Zibanejad, and Kako. The fact that Kako's a 90 overall is somehow a miracle. Then you have Lafreniere, Trocek, Sakura, And then once you get past those uh, top five guys, I'll say, it kind of gets a little bit more of like, okay, you got some depth pieces, but that's about it, right? Uh, Taylor Radish, Blake Coleman, Tatar, um, Beckman, Yarncroc, Zadina. On the back end, Miller and Fox, Provorov and Schneider, Valimaki and Nyasev, as well as on the goaltender side, their franchise goalie, Igor Shesterkin. So, obviously, they got 51 wins for a reason, and we can't take them lightly. But, you know, like I said, on paper, when you look at our team, is it close? I don't know, right? You got the 89s, you got the 80s, tons of 87s, you got a 92 in there, you got a few, uh, what, an 88, 87, 86, 84, you got an 84 on the fourth line. So, I mean, I feel like all throughout our team is just better, but again, we just got to put the pieces together to actually, you know, show that we are better. Then looking at our defensive core, I mean, we have Dalim, we got Tarasov, we got Power, we got Pesci. You know, Faber, not crazy overall, but still playing pretty decent. And then the biggest question mark, I think, out of them all is our goaltender, Devin Levi, or Devon Levi, uh, whatever you want to call him. So we're going to start with that roster, with that lineup, and with those goalies. We do not have injuries on, so a big change from, uh, you know, something I used to do in the past of, you know, turning on injuries after a certain point and then playing on, but for once, I feel like I'm gonna change it and, and keep injuries off, just to kind of see how we like it. Now, one thing I'm not gonna change, though, is how we do the playoffs. So we're gonna simulate that, we're gonna go kind of slow, and uh, you know, kind of see what the playoffs have to offer. So, if you guys don't recall, we go kind of see what happens the first couple of minutes, then we say first period, one nothing. All right, middle stat, we will take it. So. I just looked at the shots real quick. 5 to 15. And I did move me down there as well as we get a goal from the fourth line being Paterka. We will absolutely take that. Get one past the circuit. I guess we'll let the uh, last uh, few minutes uh, run out here as I forgot to skip. But either way, third period. This is usually where we let it watch uh, all the way out and then we kind of see what happens later on. Two very quick goals, though, uh, for uh, Coleman and Radish, which obviously we don't want because we just had a pretty good lead going into that third period, and then we just give it away right, you know, right off the start. So, two-two late in the third. Looks like we're going to overtime in game number one. Who's going to be that overtime hero uh, for us? And we do get it. Savoy from the first line, the rookie. Getting it, three stars of the game. Coleman, Radish, Levi somehow manages to sneak in there into the top three stars. But game number two is here. We are still in MSG, and it is time to make a statement. Show why we're the best team in New York. 
with the first period. Gets a goal right as I was about to say it. Krebs, though, makes it 1-0. So we flipped the script on the Rangers here in period number one of game two. 15-6 to six shots after the first period. All right, let's get into it, though. Quick goal uh, by Kako past Levi. Another one uh, almost two minutes later from Lafreniere. Power play for them. Don't love that, but let's simulate it out. They score a third, but we do get one back. Gergensen's from the fourth line. Looks like Panarin gets one as well. But let's write it out, though. Third period time. Let's come back here. It's only one goal. We have the talent. We have the teamwork. Let's get it done here. In the third period, come on, boys. 26, you know, pretty much even shots off by a couple, but let's bring it back. Power play. There it is. Casey Middlestat. You're working your way towards a big time extension here, and we do appreciate it. Minute and a half left. We're going to overtime once again. Who's going to be the winner? Who was it? Savoy in the first game. Who's going to be it in the second game? Power play, and we get it again. Drake Batherson from the third line gets it past Shesterk, and we win once again another overtime game. Uh, a goal per period <laughs> with the Rangers giving a big second period there. Uh, Kako Panarin both get first and second star, and Tarasov gets the third star with 19 saves. So at some point there, they pulled um, Levi. So after 28 minutes, it must have been after, the, yeah, right in the middle of the second period there, looks like they uh, the AI coach pulled him. So you know, hopefully he's rejuvenated and ready for uh, game number three as we head home now to, is it Key Bank Center? Where is it? Yeah, right there. Key Bank Center. I've been there. It was actually pretty fun. Uh, went there for the, what was it? The 2016 draft with my brother Chris. So that was a great experience. Nice little surprise birthday trip, which was awesome. Got to meet uh, some of the GMs. And I eventually ended up telling the, who was it? The Ottawa GM. I was like, you guys really need a defenseman. And he goes, Man, yeah, we're gonna get a forward though, and I'm like, all right, well, you got, you know what you want, you know probably a little bit more than I do, uh, but what I do know is we're up two nothing, and we are up one nothing in game number three, which we love going into the second period though, we will absolutely take that. Either way, keep going. Ah, right, one one, Savannah Jen, can't let you do that. Second period done. Trocheck gets one back. Well, we're in the same spot. Are we gonna take it to? A third game in a row overtime, or are we going to come back and just win in regulation? Because losing is not an option, right, guys? R right? Right, guys? 4-1. to one. Going on the power play, though, can't get one back. Couple goals to make up. we got to start now. Five minutes left. Don't, three minutes, two minutes. I don't feel like that one's likely. I feel like the Rangers got that one. So we won two overtime games, and now we're losing just normal games. All right. So either way, up two to one in the first round. Middle stat leading the way on our team with points, as before I can even get into this game at all, we have three goals in the first minute and a half. My goodness. So Zabaja gets one 43 seconds into the game. Okay. Levi uh, allows another one versus Fox. What is that? 20-something seconds later. Benson gets one later in the first. And then Thompson scores one with 15 seconds left in the first. Power play another. What is happening in this game? Cousin gets one followed by. What is happening? Sure. Cousins gets a goal. Followed by Kako. Tying it up. Middle stack gets one. We get another one. 48 from the third line or from the fourth line, excuse me. Tuck gets one. What is happening in this game? They had to have pulled Shesterkin, right? No, Shesterkin's still in there. Alright. Is he is he really still in there? Is he still? Nope, Cockman's in now. Okay. I was gonna say there's no way the AI didn't pull Shesterkin after six goals. Lafreniere does get a late one, about two minutes left in the game, but six goal, uh, six goals is just a little bit too much to overcome. All, oh, almost all of us. Benson, Middlestat, and Lafreniere all get the three stars. So, my goodness, that was in a crazy game, right? I mean, goals like crazy. I mean, right off the start of the period, which you don't expect. 
what's gonna happen here in what is it game uh, game number five so we're heading back to MSG up three to one, which is a uh, great lead, especially in the playoffs versus a top team, which is great by Kulik on the power play. Still in the power play even after that, but first period. Okay, so we had to do a lot of two. Schneider and Tatar both get goals. All right, boys, let's get one back here. That's all we got to do. There it is. Alex Tuck, we'll take it. Power play, nothing. All right, simulate that out. Oh my goodness, more goals. All right, where do we leave off here? So Tatar and we still we still on all periods. So we saw those two. So we got Tuck. So Batherson scored, Tatar scored, Lafreniere scored, Fox scored, and now Benson scored, which leaves us at a five to four um, losing situation going into the third period. Early power play doesn't end up turning into anything which kind of sucks, but we're getting shots on net. It's definitely not that power play for New York. Doesn't turn into anything. Just at the 40 shot mark as well. So obviously we're doing something, getting shots on the net. Now we just got to get it past Shesterkin. Two minutes left, one minute left, and they hang on with that one goal victory. So first and second period, absolutely crazy. Third period just must've been the defensive battle, but either way we go back home to the Key Bank Center in game number six with a chance to clinch. Can we get it in this game number six? Middlestat leading the way, nine points for him. He's definitely earned himself an extension, 100%. Four on three, a minute and a half, two, minute and a half, two and a half minutes into the game, there was a four on three. Okay, well, we what even happened off the start of this game? Slashing for us, delay a game, 16 seconds later, a double minor high sticking, and then another double minor high sticking. Alrighty then, let's keep it going. Halfway through the second period, and we do extend the lead. Benson does get one back. Early goal once again in the third period, followed by, of course, another early goal. Uh, Sakura and Zabanjad. Zabanjad doubles that up. Four to three. We go back on the power play. Lots of goals on the board. Still game six, right? We're still up three to two in the series, but we'd like to win right now, right? Back in front of the home crowd. We'd like to win this or at least push it to overtime. Minute, that's probably the empty net goal. Doesn't end up working. We're going game seven, three. Or not even three, four third period goals. What all comes down to this, we need you boys. We absolutely need you. Right? I mean, I don't really want to change anything because, like, we are doing well. We are putting up points. And, like, there's no injuries. So, it's not like we can be like, ah, well, we have an injury here. We got to move this guy around or move that guy around. We got what we got here. Kulik, though, starting off strong. Minute and a half into the game, we get one. Early power play. Doesn't end up turning out in anything. That's okay. We're up one nothing. There makes it two. That's exactly what we need, a really good start for us, right? Four minutes left in the first. I guess we'll just let it ride out this time. We'll simulate the second period pretty quick. Anything happen in the first couple minutes? Usually there's something going on, power play, doesn't turn out. Second period. Well, the Rangers did get two goals back, so that's obviously not what we wanted. So now we're gonna come back, right? Oh, and we do, all right, there it is, perfect. We get there and we get another one. Tarasov followed by Krebs. We get back the lead. It's still a one goal lead, but it's better than a no goal lead. So let's either hold on to this or get an additional one. But one of the two needs to happen. And more importantly, holding on to that lead. There it is. Middle stat. Can it get us past the Rangers in round number one? Hold on. Lafreniere does get one back. We get the empty netter. Krebs with a whole second left. Does secure the victory for us for... Third period goals once again. Why that happens, I will never know. But either way, we get past the Rangers in round number one. Middle stat definitely earning his way to an extension for sure. And next up, we're staying close down the, I guess, the, is it the turnpike? I don't really know. Uh, to New Jersey uh, for round number two. So what do these guys bring in? Oh my goodness. So if we thought the Rangers were good, if we thought we were good, my goodness. Brat Hughes to Foley, Myers, Heesher, Holtz, 
Even Mercer and McLeod down there. I mean, still on paper, we're better. But, God damn. So they definitely got the superstars there. As well as Seenthaler, Hughes, Nemec, and Jack. Is it Jack I? I think it is. And then Fowler and Dougie Hamilton with Vitek Vanacek in net. So, I mean, he's been with them for a while, actually doing pretty well. So, so obviously, they got a really solid team. I mean, I still think on paper, we're definitely close. But I guess we'll find out in game number one. All right, early power play for us, and we get one. Well, actually, it wasn't power play goal, but Tuck gets one uh, past Vanacek. And we start out good, right? First period, let's keep it going. We double up our lead, but they get one back. Batherson gets one. Brat gets one in the middle. Let's keep it going. We're double up the shots as well in the second period. Three to two. So, all right, we trade another set of goals. Brat with another one and four uh, with another one. So, let's get into it. Third period time. I mean, we're already right back to where we were. Close games with yet another team. There it is, Zach Benson from the first line, 4-2, to halfway through the second, power play for New Jersey, nothing on it, we will definitely take that, 4 minutes, 3 minutes, 2 minutes, 1 minute, and I think that's the victory, and now we know it is. So 4-2 to two final, Brad gets the first star, Levi and Benson follows him, so we will absolutely take that, great first game, let's get into game number 2. Before I could even start talking, we already did it again. One goal early in the game on the power play from Darlene, followed by Lind from them. Was that 21 seconds or whatever it is later, or 31 seconds later? I can't do math right now. Been a long day. But either way, crazy first start to this game. Looks like they get a second one there. Di Giuseppe gets one. All right, so. 2-1, to one, starting off in the second period, and all right, so they get one back, but we get one as well. So Nemec from them, as well as Cooley, get one. Let's get it happening here, right? 3-2, to two, close game, right? We played close game before. Dallin brings us back. Hamilton, another <laughs> defenseman scoring goals. I feel like lots of defensemen are scoring goals in this series so far. Hamilton, Dallin, Nemec, Dallin again. Dalene's on a hat trick watch. I just realized that. Four to three late in the game here. Two minutes, one minute. Can we get a late one? Savoy. There we go. Taking us to overtime. Who's going to be the hero? I'm predicting Dalene hat trick. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking here? Come on, boys. Come on, give me it. Give me one. That's all we need is one, boys. This might be the longest overtime game we've had yet. Five minutes left in the first, and looks like they got it. He sure their captain gets one crazy game. Obviously, lots of scoring there. Thompson, Benson, both with three points. All right, period number one. Let's get it started. Let's not be on the power play as our first game at home in this second round of the playoffs now. Power play. We'd love a power play goal. And definitely not from them. That's for sure. Come on, boys. Here we go. Give us something here. First period, nothing happened. All right. Second period, we're going to simulate this one. Give us one back. Not what I meant. Second period is a dud. Let's get one back here in the third. Shorthanded goal? No? Okay. All right. We'll keep going here. Let's keep going. There's one. Cooley gets us one back. Now we need another one. Who's going to be the guy? Brat wasn't talking to you. You guys go back in the power play. Power play for us. Anything? Come on. Nope. All right. Cool. Minute left. Looks like, yeah, no. Not happening in game number three. Well, game number four. I don't want to say it's a big one, but it's definitely one we need to win because I don't want to be on the brink of losing these series. But before we even get a shot on net nine or eight minutes into the game, they have already scored two goals and Tafoy makes it three. That's not how you want to start in an important game. Yeah. Well, we got to get one to start, boys. Got to gotta get one. Those are also two goals from the blue line. What are we doing? Well, McLeod makes it four. I guess we'll just simulate the rest of the second period. I don't know why we're watching it. 
Anything going to happen here? There we go. Batherson on the power play. Is this going to be the best comeback? There it is. Two. Gergensons gets one. Power play? Keep, no, not going to keep going. All right, 10 minutes left. 4-2. to two. I mean, we brought it close. Get a really good sequence here. We can win. Just saying. Two minutes left. Get a late one? Nope. All right. Well, our backs are against the wall in game number five. We are back away at the Prudential Center. And we need to win. Plain and simple. We need the W at the end of the game, no matter what. That doesn't help. First period, it doubled up. Second period, at least it stayed the same. Didn't get any worse. But boys, we are doubling them in shots. And yet they... And yet now they have four goals. What do I even say about that one? Did we... We, we got shots on net. Why do we... We limited them to 20 shots in the entire game. We had 38. We lost the face-off battle, but, like, what are we doing, guys? Well, we do bow out in the second round, but after making it to the playoffs, finally, I feel like that's a good start, right? Now our players know this is what's expected, right? But let's take a look, though. See what happened in the playoffs, obviously, after a, I'll say, a good year, right? 45, 34, and 3. 93 points for Thompson. I think we had a couple of guys at 93 points. Uh, let's take a look, right? Player stats. There we are. Forward. So, uh, middle stat. Leading the way in the playoffs. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, Kulik, a little under for porn for me. Savoy, a little bit under what I want. Um, I mean, other than that, I mean, we just didn't, just didn't show up in that game. I, mean, I don't know what else to say about that one. Uh, obviously, plus minus wasn't great. Power, I mean, got to show up, man. You're an 87 overall, making $8 million a year. You got to show up. We need your help. I mean, I don't know how much of the blame to throw on Levi, too. I mean, 44 goals allowed in in 12 games. I mean, yeah, 3.8 goals against in, in 879 save percentage. I mean, that's not ideal, right? That's just not where we need to be to be in a, a good spot, right? So 38 goals for on the playoffs, 41 goals against, I mean, nine power play goals, 24.3 power play percentage, penalty kill wasn't great. And then obviously we just didn't win when we needed to. But either way, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up here. Obviously, a disappointing playoff run. But still, some positive things to look out for. We made it to the playoffs. We won round one in a close series. We, you know, I don't want to say we battled, but, you know, we got to round two and we put up at least a little bit of an effort against the New Jersey Devils. So, you know, we got to focus on an offseason here. We got to, and I don't want to say retool because we have the pieces, but... Maybe some of those tweaks need to be made. Some of those tools need to be changed a little bit, sharpened on the edges, and hopefully that will get us back to the playoffs next year and hopefully back to the Stanley Cup playoffs and get us back in the running for the Cup as well. But either way, guys, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you haven't yet or if you're brand new here, make sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, we'll see you in the next one.